Good morning students, Sairam. I welcome you all to the part 2 of chapter 1, Food, Where Does It Come From? In previous session we have started with chapter number 1. Can you recollect some topics that we have studied in previous session children? We have covered the definition of food which is defined as the substance needed to do work, grow, maintain our body and remain healthy is known as food. Then we studied about balanced diet, a diet that contains the proper proportions of carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals and water necessary to maintain a good health. Then, then we also studied about this why do we eat variety of food items. We eat variety of food items. Yes children, why we eat? Eating a variety of food food items from five major components of food groups provides a range of different nutrients to the body, promotes a good health and can help to reduce the risk of diseases as well as keeping your diet interesting with different flavors and textures. Now today we will study about the next topic that is food ingredients. Here is a boy Ravi who went to a restaurant and checks the menu for Indian cuisine and Chinese cuisine. He reads the ingredient for dosa and fried rice. He surprises to see that although the two dishes are so different from each other and this comes from different cuisines but they both are, ha are having a rice as the main ingredient here in the picture the picture of wheat is shown and wheat is used to make variety of food items such as pasta bread cake biscuits and pies next is milk milk is used to make food such as cheese paneer that we call as cottage cheese curd curd cheese and butter even ice cream also. In ice cream, we use milk. So here, the main ingredient is milk to make the other food items. Now we will define food ingredients. What are food ingredients, children? Food ingredients are the material which are used to prepare food items or we can say are different dishes. Your children, suppose if you want to make pizza at home, what ingredients do you require? Yes children, and that ingredients you we need to buy it from the shop. So first here to make pizza, first what we will do, we will make pizza based dough. And for pizza, uh, pizza dough, we require maida, that is we call as refined wheat flour and salt then we we need to make pizza sauce for pizza sauce we require tomatoes herbs onions then for garnishing or we can say that for the toppings of the pizza we need cheese paneer chicken onions bell peppers mushrooms and olive or olives your children i have shown you the ingredients required to make pizza so today you are going to make pizza at home isn't it Next, we will see here one more example of upma. To make upma, whatever what all ingredients we, uh, we require, they are first is the main thing is rava, rava is there, then onions, coriander, chili, curry leaves, tomatoes, oil, and salt. These all ingredients we need to be uh, required to make upma. Next, if if you want to make paisam or kheer, we require for this milk, then vermicels, ghee, sugar and dry fruits. Next is homework. Children, here this you have to do in your science notebook. Here you will write question as write the names of food items and their ingredients. For that you need to draw this table in your science notebook. In first column you will write food items and in second column you will write required ingredients. Here 
First is sambar. Children, you all know to make sambar, you require pulses, then spices, different vegetables, salt, and oil, and tamarind. Then second is lemon juice. To make lemon juice, you require first water, some lemons, then you require sugar and salt. Next is chicken curry. To make chicken curry, first ingredient is chicken, then spices, water, salt. Isn't it students? Next is pohe. To make pohe, you, you will require pohe, onion, chili, then coriander, salt, oil. Now we will move on to our next topic that is sources of food. As I told you, to make different food items and dishes, we require many food ingredients. Where do we get all these ingredients from children? All the food that we eat mainly comes from two sources and that are plant sources and animal sources. Here from plant sources we, we, are, we, will, uh, we are getting pulses, dry fruits, vegetables, cereals, fruits and from animal sources we are getting milk and its product. Even like milk, butter, curd, cheese, cottage cheese, condensed milk, ghee, eggs, fish and meat. These are the examples of animal sources. Your children, next we will see plant product food or the products we are getting from the plants. Plants are a, the source of wide variety of nutrient required to keep the human body in perfect working condition. Hence, we obtain food from plants directly or indirectly. Plants are also called as autotrophs because they prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis. Plants use sunlight, carbon dioxide, water and chlorophyll for the process of photosynthesis. Here I have shown you the diagram of photosynthesis. How the plant make their own food. Like us, they are not dependent on the other for food. Here is the diagram of six main parts of the plant and that are roots, stem, leaves, flower, fruit and seeds. Humans consume almost all part of the plants such as leaf, leaves, stems, roots, fruits and seeds are considered to be as edible parts. Children, edible parts means edible parts. So almost each part of the plant we eat. Now we will see few examples of edible parts of the plants. Here, so first is roots. Here we eat plant roots in the form of carrot, turnip, radish, beetroot and sweet potatoes. We, they all are examples of roots that we eat or we can say that edible roots. So we will see some examples of edible stems. Children, here we eat stems of some plants such as sugar cane, potato, onion, ginger. We also eat underground stems in the form of ginger, onion and potatoes. The, uh, these are the underground stems. Next, edible leaves. Many green leaves are the sources of calcium. Leaves of plants like spinach, lettuce, cabbage, coriander, mint are used as leafy vegetables. Next is flower, edible flowers, means the flowers that we eat. Here, flowers of certain plants like cauliflower, banana flower, pumpkin flower, broccoli are used as vegetables. Here on the screen I have shown you few images of flowers that are pumpkin flower, banana flower, cauliflower and broccoli. These are the edible flowers. Next, all fruits. Yes, you all know you love to eat fruits. So all fruits, fruits are the part of the plant and we eat all fruits like Yes, mango, guava, orange, apple, pear, grapes, bananas. We eat edible, edible fruits from many plants. Fruits are rich in minerals, 
and vitamins as I told you in part 1. Next we will move on to the edible seeds. Seeds which are edible can be used as grains, pulses and oil seeds. Oil seeds include groundnut, sesame, mustard, coconut, flour, sunflower seeds etc. Next is sprouts. Sprouted seeds or sprouts of moog which we call black gram pea, chickpea which we call as bengal gram are very nutritious. Sprouts can be eaten raw as salad or cooked. Here on the screen I have shown you the images of green gram or moog beans which is a popular pulse in India. These two images are of moog beans but both look different from each other. Why is it so children? Yes, sprouts appear when the seeds are allowed to germinate. When the moong seeds shown in picture 1 are allowed to germinate, that is when seeds are soaked in water, sprouts comes out as shown in the second image. As I told you, Ravi went to a restaurant. There he ordered salad as they are good for our health. The ingredients of salad are carrots, corn, cucumber, onion, tomato and lettuce. Children, you have to complete this table in your notebook by writing which part of the plant they are. Here, first is carrot. Carrot is a root. So in the next column you will write which part of the plant you will write under that column you will write root. Corn. Corn. Yes, corn are the seeds. Then cucumber is fruit that we eat as vegetable. Onion. Onion is a stem. Tomato is a fruit which we eat as vegetable. And lettuce are the leaves. By writing this you have to complete this table. Here. Now I am ending this session over here. Till now, goodbye children. Thank you for the listening.